and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for our next Tuesday Brews Day deck. We're going to be going with some Boros Aggro now, going back over to Standard, and we're going to be playing another white aggro deck. This one, we're going red-white. I wanted to try to build around Tajik and Aurelia. You know, like, we just don't really see Tajik Legion's End, Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice. We don't really see these two cards in Standard too much, and so I wanted to try to build around them. And so this is what I've come up with here. Um, one drops aren't really spectacular so we're going with some giant killers and the giant killers actually looked really impressive in the mono white formation deck that we played earlier so i'm excited about those uh, as far as our two mana creatures we got some hush bringers they can help slow down some of these simic decks especially especially the simic ramp decks with risen reef um, but then of course you know cauldron familiar mayhem devil uh, they don't get those triggers um I guess it doesn't really stop Mayhem Devil, but stops Cauldron Familiar. I don't know. It's going to do a little bit of stuff. I think that Hushbringer could be a little bit better whenever we mentor onto it. I think that's that's something I wanted to kind of build into was, was some creatures that would be better if we mentored onto them. But there's a lot of Flash, so Tithe Taker can help slow the, the Flash decks down. Um, Robber the Rich feels like it would be better if we mentor onto it and make it a larger creature. Plus, Robber the Rich, we have these Integrities that we can pump them up as pump it up as well so we can attack in and not just have our creature die immediately um and uh there we go bone crusher giant's just an awesome card i think justice strike is a really really good quality removal spell so we got those in here and then of course the integrity intervention the other thing that our deck's going to be really about is frenzy this is how we're going to be able to outgrind opponents and how we're going to be able to play long games is because of experimental frenzy so yeah like we we uh want to get rid of our hand early so we have a low curve um, but then a big part of our deck is going to be casting and using Experimental Frenzy. So let's uh, let's give this a try. So we're going to we're going to play a league with Boros Aggro here. Let's see how it goes. Move the carrot down. Okay. Here, go up here. His eyes are so wide. Yes, red, red cap melee is too narrow. There's no reason to play that card over Devout Decree, which is in white. Basically, we would ne never play that in, in Boros, basically. Ah, yes, update Stream Decker. Good call. Good call. All right, Stream Decker updated. What are we playing against, Breeding Pool? This can chop down a Night Pack Ambusher. Which it seems like all of the Breeding Pool decks are playing these days, at least they have been today. The thing about keeping that, though, is that we didn't have the uh, fourth land to be able to play Aurelia next turn now. Lots of ways to deal with this. It could just be just attack, let them block, and just activate Tajik. 
I do one less point of damage, but we get to save the Bone Crusher Giant. Hey, Corn Lover. Yeah, Hawkeye's doing good. Yeah, Hawkeye's doing good. No, no ETB trigger and no die trigger. Thank you, Hushbringer. <laughs> Burn loud. It's okay, it's okay. You're okay. Be wary of the ground you walk on. A boreal grazer. Random blocker. Lots of ways to win it. We'll go this route. Well, Hushbringer was awesome. That game was like I completely ideal for us. That was, that's exactly what we want. I had the prison realms in the sideboard basically because I thought of Nyssa. I was like, well, Nyssa is going to be difficult to deal with. So I put a couple of prison realms in the sideboard. So I guess I'm supposed to play those here. Maybe instead of integrity intervention, maybe the, the pump is not as valuable. Could play a glass casket instead of this other integrity. Let's do that. Let's get a glass casket in here. All right, anything else we want to change? We want more glass caskets instead of tithe takers? Or do we want tithe takers? I'm going to go two and two with tithe taker ca glass casket. <laughs> My wild cards. Stop, stop taking them. Sorry, Minasaur. This is what this is what Tuesday Breezy is about, though. Playing some playing some cards we normally wouldn't necessarily play, and seeing it, seeing how we can do with them. I need more Hushbringer, less Tithe Taker. Or at least it's not Risen Reef, but means they can have. They could have Nissa or Cavalier next turn. I really hope no Nissa. Like basically, it's just just hoping they don't have Nissa. Yay! No Nissa. Hey, Tomislav, getting that resub. Thanks for that resub there, Thomas Love. Wow. Opponent's a pretty pretty big jerk. Counter Montagiques like this.
Hmm. So, of course, because of Robber of the Rich, I want to get cards out of my hand. Now I can actually start doing damage to them, though, too. No. No. This is so powerful. My my Tajiks, you know, would, would make my creatures three power and everything, but they countered those. The land fights for us. Wow. Really, Hushbringer? Now, I guess I should have got. I should guess I should have put the robber of the rich down to the bottom. Behold, nature's true power. I guess that's not a combo. Yeah, this is over. Gosh, this is so good. Playing mystical disputes. Guess I'm playing a third type taker, then playing mystical disputes. Countering those Tajiks was really brutal. All right, they're on a mold of six right now.
I cast this main phase just to, to get a card out of my hand so the Robber of the Rich would trigger. I think I want to work towards Frenzy. Y'all's emotes are awesome. Alright, speaking of working towards Frenzy. Yes. Get that Cavalier of Thorns out of here. Good job, Robert the Rich. Good job, Aurelia. Cavalier of no mores. Just to land. <laughs> King J coming back in twenty six months. Oh, did our opponent scry that to the top before we took it with Robert the Rich? I didn't I didn't actually notice that. Leaf Kindred, of course, is not a. This is not a. Um, <clears throat> what's it called? Not not a defender. So we can we can give it plus two with Aurelia, or we can mentor onto it. Well, I guess if I play Cavalier of Thorns, the Aurelia goes away. It's probably worth it, though, right? Nataba with a big time cheer. Thanks, Nataba. Just a 1 1. It's not a giant. Got to play the card out of hand so we get to trigger Robber the Rich. Stop exiling these lands.
Already played a land. What they got in hand? I wonder why they would rather have Leaf Can Druid than that other Risen Reef. I think we're going to be winning this game, though. I think so. Maybe not. Yay! All right, Boris Aggro getting a win. Boris Aggro looking good. Chalk another one up for the win column. Alright, we got that curve of Hushbringer into Tajik on the play. I think I'm on the play. I don't think that was Mangucci's version. I think that was like the... Kind of a mix between, it's like like the newer Simic Ramp decks that are kind of going a little bit flash in them also. Why not play Ember Cleave? Eh. I don't focus more on Frenzy and playing a longer game than Ember Cleave and win immediately. Hello. I haven't played the Brawl event. Well, if they are fires, at least Cavalier of Flame won't trigger. Or, or the other Cavalier. Uh, the... Or the blue cavalier either. No clarion. No clarion. No clarion. Yay. Darn. If they would have just passed to me, I think I would have just held up open integrity because it it did seem like they had Bone Crusher Giant for how they were sitting there. So I think I would have just gone to attacks and just attacked, and then they they Bone Crusher Giant my Tajik, and then I would have integrity and and pumped it up. That's cool. My creatures are flying. So this is seven. Eight, nine. 10, 11. Boom. Okay, how are we going to win games two and three? How are we going to win games two and three? Probably want... I don't know. The enchantments aren't... Um... <laughs> the enchantments aren't incredibly valuable against... Because of Teferi. So like, as far as Prison Realm goes... I don't know how many disenchants I really want to play. I'm not sure about Merriment either. 
I think I'm going to just try this. Basically just taking out taking out the God's Willing because of Teferi and taking out a couple um, Bone Crusher Giants. Hmm. I don't know, this this hand could lose. But I don't think we should just mulligan because it's not perfect. Thanks, John Q. And looks like they have they could have a perfect hand. Like this our hand could lose. All right, have a good night, Storm. Okay, no fires of invention, and even just not even playing Sphinx of Foresight here. I kind of feel like my opponent has Bone Crusher Giant. If I play Tajik, they Bone Crusher Giant it. I'm just going to hold up my removal for their creatures. Like, all my cards are great. Stuck on lands. And this is why I'm playing 25 lands, even though it doesn't seem like you may need that many lands. Because this is not a good situation, being stuck on lands like this. There's that Bone Crusher Giant. It's not so bad. Um. Lots of things to do here. Hmm. 
you know, obviously we could have killed it with Justice Strike and then just play Tithe Taker. Could play Tajik and attack with both, and if they block the Bone Crusher Giant, then I Integrity and have mine bounce over theirs. A lot of things to do there. New PCs treating me great. John Q, yeah. Loving it. <clears throat> Maybe seven. Draw a land. Draw a land, we have lethal. Draw a land. If we don't, we can only do six. If we draw a land, we have to Jeek. Kill our thing, it's lethal. Ugh. Not a land. Well, now they could have Kenrith and stabilize with Kenrith. Just gonna draw that fifth land. If they don't have life gain, obviously I just have the intervention. They can just do three damage to them. So I just hope they don't have life gain. I would like them just to play like double Clarion. Like that would be awesome. Even though, you know, like that would take out the one one and everything. Hey, Vlad. Sinks of Foresight. Good. That's not Kenrith. And Cavalier, not Kenrith. All right. Intervention. GG's. <clears throat> All right, 2-0. Boros Aggro looking good so far. Okay. <laughs> what do we got? Play first. All right, let's let's go. Temple turn one. Look for Tajik. Try to go Hushbringer into Tajik again. <laughs> Thanks, James. You've given me all your luck today. That's nice. Yeah, all you gotta do is exclamation point deck. Same matchup. That's not a Tajik. There you go, Antran. Got that highlight in. Very nice. Uh, still not Tajik. My best play is to play Bone Crusher Giant. But the thing is, that's my worst play against Clarion. But it's my best play at winning the game. I'm just going to do it. That's bad. Yay, that's good. That's bad.
That's very bad. Want Tajik or Aurelia? Just Bone Crusher Giants. Tajik! No! <laughs> I can't play you and Giant Killer! See, I'm not playing around Clarion. I'm just hope they don't draw Clarion. Awesome. Um, maybe I just. Maybe I keep the God's Willing. Took out the God's Willing last time. Maybe I take out a Tithe Taker. No, maybe I just take out all the Bone Crusher Giants. I'm gonna take out a Tithe Taker. And keep the gods willing against these red spells. <laughs> no, Iscario, that's not. The highlighted messages are not annoying. <sighs> Thank you. Thanks, Vlad. Oh, that's a mulligan. Hmm. I don't know what this God's Willing's really doing. No, I didn't really think about Gideon's Sacrifice for this deck, honestly. That's the one mana instant. Prevent some damage and stuff. I, I didn't really consider that one. Yeah, we have not faced turn three to fairy or Clarion. Uh, why do we have to? Why do you have to say something? I am not going to sit this one. Uh, there's turn three to fairy. So Hushbringer stops the cap, you know, the red cavalier and the blue cavalier. Their ETB effect, that is. Don't need another one of you. So they do find Clarion or Integrity. You know, they find something to kill these. Ugh. Bleh.
Well, yeah, so the, in the integrity would save the Tajik, the Tajik would save the Hushbringer. Mm. My silly mulligan and then my scry putting these lands down to the bottom and then we're just drawing all these expensive spells. I need these lands now. Wish I didn't put those lands to the bottom. Not killing Sphinx of Foresight is kind of annoying though because that thing gets to scry all the time. No land. Hey, Bleeding Black. <laughs> yeah, I have to die. No. Jeek's gone. Jeek was my protection. For the Hushbringer. Hmm. This is kind of crazy. Could just keep the giant killer activation up. I just gotta hope they whiff. No, don't put a card on top. Is that lethal? Five? No, it's not lethal. We just gotta draw land, and they die. Come on, land drop. Land, finally. We got the land, just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time. And we're 3-0. Hushbringer. Man, Hushbringer just shut down like the blue cavalier, red cavalier, you know, just shutting down those cavaliers. It makes a huge difference when you can make Hushbringer not just a one two. That's the problem is the one two body doesn't matter too much, but with pairing it with Tajik with the mentor, you know, turning it into a two three, turning it into a three four, it makes a big difference. <laughs> yeah, we were stuck on three lands and they played. You know, they played more Cavaliers than we played lands, and they played Kenrith. Thanks, Vengeance Life. Hushbringer in the Mono White deck? I, I don't think you want it in the Mono White deck because of the decks really based around Venerate Luxodon. And you don't want Hushbringer, Venerate Luxodon, or that's not a combo that you want. Is this just Jeskai Fires again? There's no way this is Jeskai guy fires again, right? It's gotta be. Is it flash? Yep. Is it flash?
It's usually kind of difficult for them to deal with Bone Crusher Giants. Just gonna take the trade. Because we want to play a longer game because of our frenzy. I was trying to stomp him. This blast zone destroys frenzy though, that's really annoying. Maybe they'll use the blast zone to kill the bone crusher giant. Bone crusher giant's not the easiest card for them to deal with. The Aurelia, I mean, the Aurelia resolve because they're going to blast zone for four anyway. Probably should have just done this pre combat too. Yeah, whenever somebody donates for a deck, they get to choose whatever day they want me to play it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll play it like the next, the very next day if they want me to play it the very next day, or I'll play it a a different set day if they prefer a different set day. So basically, whatever day they want me to play it, I'll play it. <laughs> you cannot choose yesterday. Or really, it would have been lethal with the triggered ability.
No, I'm not planning on doing a Christmas music stream. Okay, yeah. Yeah, great Dallas. Yeah, you just be able to tell Yeah, you can pick what what day and what time slot. If you want me to play the deck first, second, third, or fourth on whatever day. You know, every day every time slot's open every day, so So yeah, you, you can, you know, if you want if you want your deck played, you know, like Thursday, the fourth slot, you know, like that's good. So I try to work around your schedule. I think I want Glass Casket over Hushbringer. I'm not sure if I want Outlaw's Merriment. I kind of do. I feel like they can kill cards like Robber of the Rich Tajik very easily, like with them having Bone Crusher, Giant Shock, that kind of stuff. I think like the enchantments are are like the harder permanent for them to deal with because they basically have Brazen Borrower and that's it. But if I play the Merriments, I'm probably cutting like a robber and a couple of Tajiks. Is that too high of a curve? Is that two little creatures? Um, could of course cut God's Willing. And Integrity. No, I mean, they're, they're using red damage spells to kill my stuff, and so God's Willing protects my stuff from their, you know, like, God's like whenever they Bone Crusher Giant, if you God's Willing a Bone Crusher Giant, that's amazing, because then the Bone Crusher Giant's just gone. Like, that's, it's so good against Bone Crusher Giant. That's, like, their main removal spell. I could trim an Aurelia with me bringing in these other fours. Oh, damage can't be prevented. Oh yeah, damage can't be prevented, but it can't target. Like it's so the the target's not useful. That God's willing just doesn't work with that. Oh, I gotta cut something. Ah, go. I guess I cut an integrity. I just saw that we had two seconds. Yeah, but you can't target it. So, so I guess the the Tajik damage can't be prevented. Is that just good? Okay, we got lands. This castle's coming into play tapped also. I kind of want to just play the castle, the, the red castle first, because it's going to come into play tapped. Sure. Because I kind of don't really care what I draw. Like, I, I don't mind getting a, a fifth land. All right, I don't really want a sixth land. That one will do. All right, Dejumes. Have a good night. I think there's a good chance that they attack with Spectral Sailor. <clears throat> Thought so.
<laughs> yeah, we're just on fire today. Yeah, deck list, uh, exclamation point deck. You can see the deck list. Hmm. Should get, just get frenzy and play when they can't counter it. Oh, and blast zone. Don't blast zone for four. So much punishment here. Now that thing's four power. I was thinking go play it pre-combat in case we draw like haste kind of stuff, but but yeah, with Gadwick, I regret that. I will not do that again. It lets them tab, like make them force them to play their blue spell first. That's not good. I'm a little surprised they didn't just let it resolve and then put two counters on Blast Zone and then blow up Blast Zone because it's a four mana card also. Honestly, a little su surprised by that. down to five. Hmm. This Castle Ardville has been pretty important. We already saved four life from it. Got another blocker out here now. Kind of surprised they're just letting me cast more things with this frenzy. <laughs> so, 
Think they got another counter spell? <clears throat> Should be doing this during their upkeep, technically. All right, I think they did have that ionize. All right, 4-0. Oh. On to the final boss. Here we go. Let's get this final boss playlist going. We're beating good decks, too. Is it Flash? Simic Ramp. Jeskai Fires. Jeskai Fires. These are the these are the Tier 1 decks. And we're taking them down with Boros Aggro. Yep, Hawkeye's... Hawkeye's improving. He he got his his uh, teeth taken out, and looks like he's going to be better now. And so that definitely made me feel good. And now we're just winning our matches. Uh, it's not that well. Yeah, it's not really necessarily the Feather Legionnaire Ember Cleave. It's not really necessarily that they aren't good. There's just so many spells you can play, and I. Just preferred the, the spells that we're playing over them. <laughs> Can we find an opponent? <laughs> if you go 5 0 with all your decks, how will I know which one to craft? That's a good question. Temple of Skrylands to the bottom. Burglar Rat. That's a good card. All right, looks like this is going to be a matchup where we need to play this Hushbringer. I would normally want to play the Robber of the Rich. Or, sorry, the yeah, the other Robber of the Rich, but I guess I could... I guess I could play Tajik instead. Get this mentor going. Maybe I don't want to play Hushbringer because I can just play their spells and make them discard. That'll be worse for my Robber the Rich, though. I think they're going Kaya's Wrath here. We still got Frenzy, even if they do have Kaya's Wrath. So should I play the Hushbringer in hand so they, they don't get their ETB effects like Bell Haunt? Or do I just play the Burglar Rat? I'm 
gonna play Hushbringer. Keep them from having Bell Hunt stabilize. Oh, I guess that thing's kind of annoying to deal with. Huh. Not as annoying anymore. Hmm. Yep. Not as annoying anymore. You can't block here. That That is not the block you could do. They had to block Robber. Then even if they block, even if they block robber, they gain. The, you know, they still take the same amount of damage. They they gain two life. They go to one, and then Bone Crusher kills them. Hmm. Doom foretold would be annoying. Integrity doesn't seem as important. Do I want to play Disenchants just for some random Doom Foretolds? I'm going to War Boss it up. Get some Merriments in here. Yes, my opponent's playing Doom Foretold. They're playing Kaya's Wrath also. At least after board. I'm going to take out Integrity. I'm going to bring in two Disenchant, three Merriment. And then what are the other two cards I'm cutting? Giant Killer. They don't really have big creatures for Giant Killer to kill unless it's like Cavalier of Night. Is like it. Could just take out Giant Killers and play a Prison Realm. Prison Realm doesn't seem great against the Doom Foretold deck, though. I just don't like how high my curve is. Guess we'll play one Giant Killer. Okay. I, you cannot sacrifice tokens to Doom Foretold. So War Boss doesn't help in that regard. But it is just a fast creature. It's good against, like, Burglar Rat and stuff like that. So we got Hushbringer on two. This hand would be a lot better on the play to be able to play before a Burglar Rat or Fenlurker. <laughs> you feel bad because you ultimated Liliana on your opponent? Well, at least they saw it coming. They had a lot of turns to do something about it. Ah, they were new. Rats. Dealer to or Aurelia. It is kind of nice having a backup to Really, it costs four. We're a ways away from that. Let me untap with Hushbringer. Okay. That's untapping with Hushbringer. Now we'll have God's willing to protect it. Hey, Gur making waffles, getting... Back in here, 10 awesome months in a row. Thank you so much for keeping that streak going. Hmm.
This means I don't get to play Merry Mitt next turn. This is a better play against Doom Foretold, though. I do not want to see Doom Foretold. I do not really want to see Kai's Wrath, either. I hope you said, am I dematerializing? Huh. Hmm. Now I'll just put it to the bottom. That land's really not that bad, though. Alright, so I feel like if they had Kai's Wrath, they would have just played it last turn. You have to do better than that. I'm gonna make myself scarce. All right, we attacked them all the way down to uh, 26. There's the foretold. That's not cool. Yeah, we got <laughs> dueling castle Arden Vales. But yeah, there we're we're both in top deck mode. We got a merriment though. Wow. What a top deck. What a top deck. What a top deck. Oh, this thing had trample. I guess I should have done this first. I could have dealt one extra damage to them. I don't like that scry at the top. All right, come on, Frenzy. I guess we'll take it. That's good for us. That's better. So that blocks Bone Crusher. Go down to three. They're praying for a wrath. I'm praying for no wrath. All right, not bad. We'll take we'll take that. We'll take that all the way to the five O bank. Let's get that record updated.
<laughs> We're doing it. Hey, Arcane Fox gifted out two subs. Thank you so much, Arcane Fox. We are doing it. Man, I, yeah, it, it, I'm feeling the pressure of trying to keep this win streak going, for sure. Tuesday, don't lose day. I like it. I like it. Yeah, this is the perfect Tuesday. Uh, yeah, this is the first time we've ever started off. Um, you know, I've been streaming basically every day for, you know, over a year. Uh, I've been streaming for a long time, but like the everyday thing, my full-time job, it's been a little bit over a year now, about a year and a month, and uh, we have not started out 15-0. That has not happened before. Today is the first day. The pressure is on. I can't believe that we're doing it on Tuesday Bruise Day we're just, where I just like put decks together of like, huh, let's, let's try out this stuff. Let's try Tajik and Aurelia. Turned out Tajik and Aurelia were awesome. Hushbringer was amazing. Tajik was amazing. Aurelia was amazing. Robber the Rich, great. Giant Killer, Bone Crusher, Giant were both very good. This deck, another just awesome deck. Another awesome league. Yeah, Boris Aggro. <laughs> we need a new emote. We need the 21 Dream. Um, yeah, there you go. Brewing's the way to go. Get him by surprise. Yeah, Hushbringer was just awesome the whole time. Really good quality card for us. And just the thing that was really great was H pairing Hushbringer with Tajik. Tajik made Hushbringer a lot better because Hushbringer was a 2-3 flyer, 3-4 flyer. This was just a really good pairing of Hushbringer and Tajik. <sighs> All right, that's that's it. That's 5-0 uh, for Boris Aggro now, 15 in a row, y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel, you know, leave those comments. Do your thing over there. But thank you so much for watching some Boros Agro. Uh, come on back for our next video. See how we do. Thanks for watching. See you for the next one.